Hey guys, so I just got back from Sam's Club and Walmart and I picked up a big haul because tomorrow morning, although by the time you see this video, we'll already be home. <laughs> um, tomorrow morning we are taking off for vacation. We're headed over to Siesta Key, which is on the other side of the state from us. And we go over there every spring or early summer. We love it. It's like our little family retreat. This year, um, one of my girlfriends and her family are coming with us. We rented a big house for all of us. Um, and so we just made a meal plan together. Uh, so we're gonna be doing breakfast together, lunches together, and then we're gonna be all going out to dinner except for the last night. So I'm gonna flip you around here and show you what we got from Sam's Club, what we got from Walmart. I just thought it'd be a different kind of grocery haul. Um, and yeah, so let's get to it. All right, so this is our Sam's haul. So we have, um, we just decided to go for some things that were more like fun and vacation friendly, portable, and easy versus like unsweetened, plain, whole milk, Greek yogurt that we have to then portion out and add maple syrup to and blah, blah, blah. So we uh, compiled a list together and this is what we came up with, things that our kids would see as treats. So we got these Danimals smoothies for late night snacks for them at the house. We have six loaves of honey wheat bread here. Um, we are doing sandwiches every single day at the beach. Um, just a mixture of like pimento sandwiches or meat and cheese sandwiches or peanut butter and jelly sandwiches or cucumber sandwiches whatever we're just gonna make a bunch of sandwiches each day and um, pass them out at the beach we got three bags of tortilla chips that john said he ate two chips on his way home before he realized that these were for vacation so three bags of the um blue corn tortilla chips we just figured that the easiest snack to pull out we go to the beach in the morning usually and then come home um sometime after lunch and then head out again at dinner and sunset so between lunch and dinner we thought we would just pull out some different dips so we got some um this avocado salsa and the spinach and artichoke dip plus pimento cheese we thought that those would be just the easiest um tr like family full family snacks to pull out so we'll just like have one bag for each day um we've got carrots here we've got uh just some cheddar and pepper jack cheese and a variety pack of different meats for sandwiches. Um, two boxes of grapes, three bundles of bananas. I requested green bananas so that they would um, last us for you know the, the full trip. Um, two packs of cucumbers. All of our kids, um, my one of my girlfriend's kids and and mine and my husband's kids are um, really like big raw fruit or raw veggie um, fans so whenever we have tea time together and stuff um, carrots and cucumbers are what we pull out for them um, we've got a bunch of string cheese for them um, I think we just figured that lunches would be a sandwich a string cheese um, and uh, what's it called to be oh and a bag of chips oh wait Oh, those are my Walmart order. So we got a bunch of little chips as well. Um, so string cheese, two big five pound um, bags of organic apples here. So we have that. Um, and then two dozen eggs because one of the dads volunteered to cook eggs every morning while we were um, packing up for the beach. Then we got them juice boxes, which is a fun treat as well. And then we grabbed this um, six gallons of Zephyr Hills water um, just to have at the house to fill our waters for the beach. I haven't decided yet if we're going to bring our Berkey or not, um, but we may have to. We are going to be going to Publix when we get over there to grab a couple more things. Like I wanted to grab some stuff to make bruschetta, so um, I don't want to transport tomatoes across the state and under our suitcases. So. Um, if we need more water, I know the house we rented is right next to a Publix over there. So that is my Sam's Club haul, and now I will show you uh, what we got from Walmart. All right, so here is our Walmart haul now. Um, we got some celery. Um, we didn't want to buy celery at Sam's. Um, I'm a little more pimento cheese because when I put in our Walmart order, I realized that I didn't get two from Sam's and I couldn't modify my Sam's one anymore. Some peanut butter and jelly here for the kids' sandwiches. Some half and half for all of us for coffee. Uh, we've got, we thought it would be fun for the kids to make their own trail mix, like their own little brown bag mix of trail mix each day. So for that, we've got raisins. Both of us are bringing other ingredients we have in our pantry. We've got some M&Ms, mini marshmallows, mini pretzels, um, honey nut, Cheerios. 
Um, and then we've got some crackers for the kids. We've got some oatmeal packs for anybody who might not want eggs or smoothies in the morning. Um, I got three different bags of chips, so there will be 11 of us, and we thought everybody would have one bag of chips at the beach each day. Um, <clears throat> so three bags gives um, options so nobody gets stuck with, like, you know, the one kind nobody wants or something. So three just totally different mixtures here. Um, then we got some stuff for the house because the house, anytime we rent a house through, like, Airbnb or VRBO, they come fully stocked with, like, toilet paper, paper towels, but, you know, it's usually just like our small family. So as of 11 people going over there, we needed to bring our own supplies. So we got some sandwich bags um, for the beach, some coffee, some uh, stevia for coffee, some coffee for survival. Um, I bought two packs of crayons because one thing we do, anytime we go over to the West Coast beaches in our state, they have really big white seashells the kids collect. And um, one, a really fun way to do something in the evening when you're back at the house and you don't wanna spend all day in the sun. So we go back to the house for a while, um, is you just lay those seashells on a baking um, tray and put them in the oven at 200 degrees just for like three minutes. Then when you pull them out, the seashells are not too hot for the kids to touch, but if they start coloring with crayons on those white seashells, um, it like melts the wax really pretty on the crayons. So that's a really fun activity and it's not messy because it's not paint. We got some baby wipes because uh, my girlfriend and I, we both have toddlers who are in the same size diapers and everything. So we were like, instead of packing our own everything, we'll just bring diapers and wipes. So I've got um, the wipes here um, and then a bunch of paper towels because like I said, you never know how much it really comes stocked with. And then some paper plates for breakfasts um, and maybe lunches at the beach, I'm not sure. So that is my grocery haul, our vacation haul. Um, we are gonna be eating dinners out there um, and we might order pizza one night, um, the night that we're packing up to head back home. But let me know in the comments what uh, a staple is every time that you go um, on vacation. Like what do you have to bring with you just in case they don't have it available um, wherever you're headed. Let me know in the comments below and I will see you guys soon. Bye.